Hello, Pisces. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer, including my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all set up there. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, if you'd like to get extra content with me throughout the month, and if you would like to support the channel, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links can be found in the description box below as well. All right. For my Piscean, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's get these messages here. Let's see what messages Spirit has for Pisces at this time. Two more shuffles here for you, Pisces. Whoops. Okay, well, you have a card that's just popped out. It's the Six of Pentacles. All right, I'm going to leave that there. That's one. Last shuffle for you, Pisces. All right, so with this Six of Pentacles energy, Pisces, I feel like some of you or whomever this message is for, um, you're going through a pretty humbling situation and you're getting a, 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 it feels like for the first time in your life, you're starting to get a very deep understanding what actual true reciprocity means. For some of you, this is because someone has come into your life or a situation or circumstance has um started or happened or commenced within your life in which you are getting a first-hand view of what it really means to be reciprocal and for some of you that's really heartbreaking even though you're on the receiving end of a really beautiful level of reciprocity it's still bittersweet it's a double-edged sword because now you're seeing how in the past you were getting shorted or you were getting the shit end of the stick for others of you, you're, you're involved in a really humbling situation in which you're recognizing that your involvement may not, has been, may not have been as reciprocal as you may have once hoped or maybe as you had intended. But in that situation, what I'm really getting is that there is another person that is involved who meant to be or was supposed to be more reciprocal than they actually were and now you're coming to terms with the fact you're starting to realize the fact that their involvement wasn't as reciprocal wasn't as balanced wasn't as even as you may have wanted it to be or maybe in some cases as you were making it out to be i feel like for some of you here this is a really humbling or a really down-to-earth situation because of the fact that you're finally starting to admit to yourself that somebody was not as reciprocal with you as you may have wanted them to be or thought they were going to be or made them out to be. Okay, Pisces, let's continue. Uh, I'm being guided to look at the bottom of the deck. You do have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is inspiring you somehow. It's giving you an understanding of how to move forward. That's for sure. All right, let's continue. What's going on for Pisces? First card here, we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, denial. What's going on for Pisces? What messages do we have for Pisces, please? King of Pentacles. And the Tower. Look at that. Yep. Okay, overall energy now is the Six of Wands. All right, well, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Actually, let me do this so that you can still see the Six of Pentacles here. All right, well, this isn't, this isn't bad, Pisces. This isn't bad. Uh, this King of Pentacles energy is giving me a feeling of you being some sort of provider. Okay, I do feel like this King of Pentacles is you. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, yes, this is a masculine energy, this King of Pentacles, but um, I, what I feel this is representing for you, Pisces, is a level of being some sort of provider, 
Um, I'm getting an energy of propping somebody up or keeping someone propped up. Maybe you were you were uh, providing financial stability to someone. Um, you were like doing something, uh, something uh, as little. Uh, not that this is little, but like something like uh, providing someone with a roof over their head, letting someone to stay with you. Um, but see, the thing that I'm getting about this is that whomever you were dealing with, Pisces. This individual was taking advantage of you and you were in denial about it. Or, in some cases, for a very small amount of you, you are recognizing how you may have been overstaying your welcome with someone that has been providing to you. And part of this humbling energy, Pisces, is you starting to understand ways that you may have been or it could be seen as you taking advantage of somebody else. But ultimately here, what I'm getting is that this King of Pentacles, whomever this King of Pentacles is, whether this is you, Pisces, or this is someone you were dealing with, has finally come out of a sense of denial and is changing the situation. I feel like this King of Pentacles has said or done something or will say or do something that will cause this whole situation to come crumbling down the tower. And if not come crumbling down completely, change it drastically, okay? This Six of Wands energy at the overall energy here is, a, is very interesting. Somebody is not going to like that Six of Wands energy, however that energy plays out. Again, Pisces, whether it's you or whether you are this king of pentacles and you are setting some sort of record straight, somebody is going to have a reason to hold their head high, is going to have a reason to feel like they should do a, a victory lap or feel like they deserve some sort of recognition for what's about to happen or what has just happened and someone else is not going to like it. But the reason why the other person is not going to like it is because of their level of involvement in terms of something not being reciprocal. They're going, it, it feels like they're going to be found out. They're less than honorable or less than respectful or reciprocal nature or involvement in this situation is going to be seen very clearly by others around them. Because what I feel like here is whomever this King of Pentacles is, they are not going to be ashamed, I guess we can say, afraid to set the record straight. They're not going to be, hmm, what's the word that I'm looking for? They're not going to, um, gosh, I'm, I'm really at a loss for words right now. But it doesn't, it doesn't feel like they're going to be afraid to set the record straight, I guess, for lack of, lack of a better term. And this might get a little messy. This might be a... I'm definitely picking up on someone who is maybe a little vindictive about it. I'm picking up on somebody who is like, look, y'all need to know who this person is. Y'all need to know what this person did in this situation. Not that I'm trying to play the victim, says the King of Pentacles, but y'all need to know what the fuck just happened here. Okay. Oof. All right. Something is, about to, something, something is literally about to blow up in somebody's face. And that's why they're not going to like it. And that's why someone here is going to be on the receiving end of some sort of victory or recognition here, while the other is going to be in the doghouse. And there may even be energies of that same person that's now in the doghouse trying to tear down or speak ill of the character of whomever has is in this Six of Wands energy. Because keep in mind, guys, that Six of Wands energy could be a magnet or a target for individuals that want to take you off your high horse. But the fact of the matter is, given the energy or the nature of this situation, whomever ends up on that high horse in the Six of Wands energy doing their victory lap has every right to be there. Let's talk about this Two of Swords, this denial energy. What's this Two of Swords for Pisces, please? The Ace of Wands. There's that Ace of Wands again. 
Someone has been in denial for too long. Someone has been blinded for too long. I feel like I feel like there's something is about to be revealed. What I'm getting from this energy is something is about to be revealed in terms of some how some way that someone was blinded, some way that some there there's something going on in their blind spot. And it's because of this that this individual is going to feel incredibly motivated to move forward. It's like once they realize they've been blinded to something or they've been blind to something or they haven't been able to see something or maybe once they come to terms with the fact that they were in denial about something, the nature of this person's character or whatnot, whatever the nature of the real true nature of this situation, situationship, it's like that sense of denial is going to be or the realization of that denial is going to be motivation for someone to move forward or I guess set the record straight. Three of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. A little bit more on this Two of Swords, please. A little bit more on this Two of Swords for Pisces. Four of Pentacles. One more card for this Two of Swords, please. And the Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Swords, whoa. Um, Somebody may be kicked into gear to protect their livelihood. I'm getting extremely defensive energy with this, Pisces. I'm getting an energy of someone, this King of Pentacles here, recognizing how they have been in denial about how someone may have been stealing from them. But I get this energy from the Four of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles of someone wanting to protect or preserve what it is that they have, their empire, their business, their longevity, their money, their finances, like this. This is someone that is very well to do, okay? This king of pentacles here. They have a lot of resources and yes, they have a lot to give and it's not like they're stingy with it. But someone has been taking advantage of them. And now once they come out of this sense of denial or once they realize that they've been in denial about something, there is going to be a level of panic in terms of I have got to protect the last resources that I have before, I, before this person gets away with everything. Now, here's the thing about that, Pisces. Whether this is you, okay, or whether this is this other person, this sense of getting kicked into a panic level in terms of needing to protect their resources that's a little bit extreme. It is. It's a little bit extreme. But it's coming from a level of, again, being having been in denial and maybe for an extended amount of time. And saying to themselves, how could I have been so naive? How could I have been so stupid? I don't like necessarily saying that about you. You're not stupid. But, I mean, I get it. I, I understand. I get it. Okay. What's, let's talk about this tower energy. What's the tower here for Pisces? The Emperor. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Explain, clarify the tower, please. One more card. There it is. Okay. The Sun and the Five of Pentacles. Yep. Overall energy is the Magician. Damn. So, this Magician energy as the overall here, clarifying the tower, feels twofold. At first, it feels like the energy of whomever was in this five of pentacles, this woe is me, this lack mentality, this I, this destitute type of energy. There was manipulation happening in terms of that. But now the tower is bringing in an energy of the tables turning, flipping the script. Someone is, someone has peeped game. Straight up and down, Pisces, somebody has peeped game, and it's this King of Pentacles right here. Mm -mm -mm. Where this King of Pentacles, it's very interesting, where this King of Pentacles may have been compassionate and understanding at one point, now this individual is, is hard as a as a ma, as a freaking rock, okay? And the King of Pentacles really isn't normally compassionate, all right? I mean, like, I mean, 
he's not necessarily as cold as the King of Swords, but like also, I mean, like he's not the most compassionate. But at least he's understanding, right? Well, now when we get to this tower energy, something's about to be figured out. Someone is peeped, has peeped game. Someone has been enlightened to or is, is aware of the fact that someone has been playing a game with them, with this five of pentacles energy, making it seem like they're more destitute than they really are. And with this emperor here, it's this, emperor, this person is hardening now and is saying, oh no, that can't happen. You are not going to manip manipulate me any longer. I may have I may have the resources that you may want or need, but quite frankly, you're not going to get it from me if there is no reciprocity. Period. Mm, mm, mm. There's that tower moment right there. Yes, sir, re Bob. Okay. So be on the lookout for that. If you are this king of pentacles here, just recognize that someone is taking advantage of you. Or at least this situation isn't as reciprocal as you may have once wanted it to be. But you have an opportunity to set the record straight. And I'm literally seeing Pisces. You have an opportunity to shore up your boundaries here. Because really the, king, the emperor represents boundaries and structure. Okay. And those boundaries and structures are put into place to protect the empire. Not because the, the emperor is trying to be controlling or because he wants things his way just because... I mean, if the emperor would be, was reversed, then that would be the energy of it's my way or the highway because I fucking said so. Ain't no other reason behind it. I said so, and that's how it's going to be. No. That's an emperor that is imbalanced and not in a good energy. But the emperor that is balanced and whole and healthy, that, that emperor is a protector. That emperor puts boundaries and, and, and restrictions and in place in order to preserve the empire so that all in the empire can flourish and, and reap the benefits of that empire. But that also means keeping out individuals that are poisonous or detrimental to the empire. And that's exactly what's happening here. Okay. Closing Oracle guidance for you, Pisces, is coming from the Crystal Mandala Oracle. Last shot. All right, closing message for you, Pisces. Closing message for my Pisces, please hit it. Card number 13, Archangel Ignacio and Tiger's Eye. Tiger spirit rises. Oops. Keep hitting the camera. Stop hitting the camera, Eric. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. We bring you the gift of the tiger spirit rising. You, have, you are being empowered with a truth more potent than fear. Your spirit is rapidly expanding beyond what opinion and logic can contain. It needs to be free to run wild with divine grace in the world. Your life, your destiny, your divine fulfillment requires that you have the courage to roar for love, to refuse to be put down, to respect yourself, and to let your untamed loving heart be free. Your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to break away from systems based in control and fear. As your tiger spirit rises, you excite and empower the tiger spirit in others to rise above conditioning as they discover the wild divine spirit being they are in truth. Excellent, Pisces.
So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you hooked up there. Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to get extra content with me throughout the month and to support the channel, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. A big shout out to all of you that are already part of the Patreon family, the Unicorn Herd. Without you, I would not be able to be here. With that said, Pisces, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.